and you guys, you know, feel free to uh, to uh, touch on in several, you know, whether it be print or, or TV, the stud comment. Um, <laughs> feel free to use that at, at any time, at any time. But uh, it's uh, yeah, it's it's a phenomenal deal to, to uh, that, you know, from the time I've started driving for Michael Waltrip, um, you know, Aaron's has been, you know, the the sponsor. Um, you know, my, Michael's had a lot of different sponsors, but the one thing that's been constant has been Aaron's and, and the fact that uh, Ken Butler is, uh, uh, you know, Ken Butler and the guys at Aaron's, they don't like to do things like the same as everybody else does them, i.e. they could have gone out and got a guy that was just just out of high school to drive a race car. Instead, they took a chance on a guy that was slightly older than that, just slightly. Um, so I appreciate the opportunity. I mean, uh, I, I love being at Michael Walter Racing, and I love I, I've I've had we've had sponsors in the past, but I've never had a sponsor that's gotten gotten behind me and and, and believed in me through the the bad times and the good. So uh, uh, it's it's certainly like a, a family type atmosphere, and I know you, you hear that a lot, but that's what it is. I mean, you you see Ken and you, and you see Mark and, and all the guys that you come to racetrack. I mean, you, it's you genuinely enjoy being around them, and we have a good time doing it. So. Uh, I thank Michael Walter uh, Racing for giving me the opportunity uh, w to go cup racing when nobody else was going to do that. Um, and, uh, and more importantly, i, I got to, again, thank uh, Ken and Aaron's and everybody because, um, you know, we cannot do this program without them. And, and to have a sponsor that really gets what the sport's about uh, is a lot of great sponsors out there. I'm not saying anything against anybody else's sponsor, but as far as we, when you come in the garage, uh, we've got the best sponsor in the business. So I, I'm, I'm glad to have them on our car and hopefully uh, – uh, I, I make them proud and uh, make them maybe want to sign up for a couple more years after this. But you know, <laughs> well, that's great. I, I think it's really cool that we're making this announcement at the Brickyard. Eleven years ago, the Brickyard was the first race we ever ran in Cup with the uh, ten car with Johnny Benson, and we'd already cut the deal with Michael to run six nationwide. And kind of our deal has been to uh, take advantage, see some great drivers, and uh, and kick it off. And that year, we happened to hook up hook up with Johnny Benson and. Uh, and help him along. He had a sponsor the next year, and we really began our relationship with Michael for uh, a number of years and nationwide, and done lots of different drivers through time, which I think has been pretty cool. I mean, you know, everybody's a lucky dog at Aaron's, and so we let uh, a lot of people be the lucky dog, but somewhere you got to settle down on a driver, and we finally realized that David could talk, and so we, uh, we're we going to let him do some commercials right. other than sit on the bed and just uh, eat, eat chicken wings. So. Uh, we're really, really <laughs> proud to do that. But if we're going to do that, we've got to hook him up for a couple more years. So that's, that's what we're proud to do. And we think uh, we're going to hit you our, wa our wagon in the Cup, uh, cup Series. Right? We think that's where we belong. And Aaron's has gone from 300 stores to 1,700 stores during this ride. So hopefully we're going to keep going and going up to 3,000 stores through, through time. So thank you all. I just, uh, it's our privilege to be a part. I think it's a great story. They had 300 stores, and now they got 1,700. And I've been like part. I've been with them that whole time, and they're pretty sure I didn't have anything to do with that. But <laughs> why take a chance? Everything's going good. Let's keep Mike around for a few more years. Yeah. He, he said, "You're too chicken to let it go, right?" <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, I, I know we're under some cons uh, time constraints because of the uh, top 12 um, uh, over in the tent. So we'll open up some questions real quick. If uh, Claire. Claire B. Lang, Sirius NASCAR Radio. After the win, Michael, I hear you had a little get-together at the shop and that everybody was pretty moved at the success story that was shown, uh, your success story, where you started the team, and maybe people don't r realize that. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, it, it almost makes me cry because um, I, I stand there in front of our, our 240 people that work there, and, and all of them had, uh, most of them had their spouses and kids with them, and it was such a festive um, atmosphere and everybody was having so much fun celebrating what this man accomplished for our organization and uh, um, it, to me it was more about looking out and saying how how fortunate we are to be here. Uh, 07 obviously didn't go the way we had drawn, drawn it up and quite honestly no matter how much Toyota committed to our organization if it weren't for the partners that I had and had had for the years leading up to 07 we wouldn't have been around anymore. Uh, Aaron's was with us and said, we're not going anywhere. Napa, Best Western, Coca-Cola. We had just a core group of people that said, you got a little while here to get it right, Mike. And uh, you've got that because of the, the equity you've built up with us over the years. So I, I stand around and look at things, and, and it, it makes me, um, me want to cry because I know how fragile it was and how close things were. But... Unfortunately, made it through 07. Rob Kaufman joined us as a, as a co-owner, and 
uh, brought financial stability to MWR, and then um, just Ty and Cal and all the people that work there in the management of MWR got our cars better and better. And this guy is a he is a great race car driver, and and um, now we're giving him stuff that he can go show it. That's just a really rewarding feeling. Thank you for asking, Claire. You know, one of the things that we were talking about earlier was talking about the youth of the organization. And if you really look at it, and we haven't really said this, if you disagree, you, you're more than welcome to. But we were, for two years, we were a qualifying organization. 2007, 2008, we were trying to qualify for races. And if you look at the, the, the organization, really, we've only been a real racing organization for probably a year and a half or two years where we could go to the racetrack and really work on our, on our Sunday stuff and not worry about whether we're going to qualify or not. So if you put it in that, uh, in that perspective, the, as far as a racing organization, we're probably even younger than the 2007 date would indicate. Kenny? You can, we can hear you. I like the sound of that. Bad thing. I mean, does the momentum carry over despite the fact that you guys weren't on the track? Well, I think I think it does. I mean, obviously, ideally, you would want to run the next week right after you win. So, I mean, I think that's what in a in a perfect world that would have been. Uh, but I mean, uh, we won the race, so it does, at that point, it doesn't get much more perfect than that uh, for me. So, in the end, I think you know if if you go off of just uh, walking around a shop and and seeing the attitudes on everybody's, you know, the, the way they look, the way they act, the way. Um, and when we had our, our party the other night, uh, the, the enthusiasm that was within the shop, uh, momentum-wise, I think for the entire organization is still there and still pretty strong. Um, but you know, ideally, yeah, it'd been great to run, uh, move the brickyard up, but uh, they weren't really open to moving it up for me. So uh, uh, we're here, and, and that's the important thing. But we still have everybody's still got that same vibe and that same feel. You know, uh, a win. Uh, the good thing about it, we've had an opportunity to celebrate it a little bit longer than most guys had, and uh, and that's pretty special. And and I want to say that. Um, I don't believe in my heart we, we would be at where we are today if it weren't for Martin Trex Jr. and Pat Trison joining MWR. They gave David um, another uh, set of eyes and ears to bounce things off of. Those two made David and Rodney even better yet. Uh, same thing with Marcus Ambrose and Frank Kerr. When we went to the road course races, David got a top 20. Martin looked like he could win the darn race. So um, genuinely... Everybody was happy that David won because everybody at MWR knows they had a role in it and played a part in it. And that's, that's healthy. That, that makes me as an owner feel proud that that's the attitude at our shop.